Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Scum. I'm the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. I was just noticing something. I'm back at home putting stuff away that we got in the last episode up at the uh, castle slash, you know, now hospital. And I noticed that uh, this is a 6 out of 10 sewing or thread. But if I take it and I take a, you know, a needle that's not 100% either, it doesn't really seem to matter because it's going to give us a fully functional sewing kit 100 percent 15 out of 15 which i thought was really bizarre i thought i didn't know it would do something like that uh you can't drag and combine them like this is eight eight and five right here you can't combine them like that um can i de i can uncraft this let's try something out real quick i wonder if this is a bug uh let's grab uh we've got a 72 percent needle here if I take you and uncraft you, what do I get back? Where'd it go? Uh, looks like I lost the thread. I got the needle back, but I lost the thread. <clears throat> I don't see it anywhere here. Hmm. Well, that wasn't a very good deal. I thought maybe what I would do is get the... Uh, you know, like the broken down thread at like 5 out of 10, I could recraft it with a needle and I would get a 15 out of 15, but that doesn't appear to be the case. If you uncraft it, that's what it does. So we'll get a full one on us and I'll just put these guys over here. But it was kind of interesting that it did that. So there's something to know. Uh, don't uncraft them though. That just ruins it. Yeah. So here's the cookbooks we picked up from the last episode. Uh, you guys say there's nine. We have eight. Out of the nine books available to us. Um, if I slide over this way, get the boxes up here. There we go. Um, let's see. We've got the barbecue book right here as well. I didn't grab a barbecue book because we had it. So we have pasta, soup, rice, cake, drinks, casseroles, and the barbecue book. So these are the books we have. We're missing one book. I, I, you know, I don't even know which one that would be, but... Um, I'm, I'm not sure if these things take damage as we use them. We'll, we'll find out, of course. We'll take a look at it. If that's the case, then, of course, we're going to want to keep some of these extra books. So we, you'd have them. You don't want to, you know, just throw them out. Oh, i got to move everybody over one. Anyways, what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of unloading the vehicle. There's going to be lock picking involved when we go down underground into a bunker. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting myself a little more familiar with that by just going up and using our police station and just practicing on those lockers again. I'm going to assume they're locked again. Um, just because, you know, the game has reset since I've left and come back in. Anyway, so I'm thinking about trying that and see that that's something we can do uh, just to kind of practice up a little bit. I could make the practice one for here. There is one in crafting. I think it's in crafting, either that or it's in building. But it's a, it's like a practice one where you can sit there. Here it is right here. The lock picking board. You can sit there and practice <clears throat> picking locks on that board. And I really don't feel like doing that. I would rather just um, go practice in the police station. Kill the few puppets that are in there and then practice on getting a few of those lockers open. I made us a new axe. Uh, I've got us reloaded. Thank you for letting me know. Though Anybody who's wondering about that. Um, let's see. Let's go to... Where's my, where's, where's my gun? My gun. So if I drag my gun over into my hand, I can see the clips right here. I can drag the clip over to here. Uh, I don't have to drag it up here if I don't want to, but then I could drag these guys down here and it'll ask you if you want to reload the clip. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. I've done it before. I've loaded the clip before. It's just, you know, there's steps There's steps involved. Like now we've got room for if we had a silencer or let's say we had a lamp for the, the gun, we could put that on here as well. So there's extra slots that come up. But thanks for the help on uh, reloading. So we've got that reloaded and we have an additional uh, 22 rounds for that. Which is pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, we're Like I said, we're back at home. I've got some bandages. I think, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some lock picks. I had to chop down all the bushes and stuff that are around here. So there's wood laying all over the place. Things are already... Um, I've got a lot of everything, it seems like. I feel like I do anyways. Uh, let's see here. We are going to have to fill our water container. And I wanted to get some lock picks put together. Let's see here. Boom. We've got stuff in the car still. 
uh, that needs to come in. So let me let me finish doing that first. Let me get the stuff out of the box that's out here and get that put in. We should probably cook the meat up too, but uh, I'm going to leave this stuff in the car. Uh, and we've got these extra advanced lock picks. I think I'm going to save those for um, our trip down into the bunker. It's not going to be this episode, the bunker. But I wouldn't mind actually knowing where the bunker is. So, you know, I could um, be ready for it. So I've got our medica medical stuff here. Uh, and we're, some things are for sale in here too. But just a, just a little bit of hodgepodge stuff all over the place right now. So give me a second to put things away. And then I'll be right back meds all of our stuff is looking pretty good it's all fixed up the boots they just wear down so fast i just don't see boots doing that i've got boots that i've owned for 15 years that i've hiked in granted i don't hike as much as she's having to run around but it's like wow you know burning through those boots pretty fast some of that stuff yeah i think there's probably adjustments i could make for all of that stuff but It'd be kind of nice if it was just sort of a vanilla thing. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? It just seems like it should be a vanilla type of thing. Uh, let's grab that. I think I'm going to leave this one. Like, like I said, we're going to keep these nice ones for us to use down in the bunker. Um, I should take one of those. The scalpel we're going to sell. Uh, these guys here. Again, I'm going to kind of keep some of this stuff on here just in case we need it down the road. We've got our medical stuff. Uh, some alcohol if we've got to make some good um, bandages. So, yeah, that's that's good. I should probably keep some of these things down here, too. You guys say by eating all of this, it doesn't really help me. That just one at a time is probably better to do than eating a whole bunch. I'm at 19. I think they only give you 2%. They don't give you much, the vitamins. When it comes to vitamin D, it just doesn't give you hardly anything at all. So I won't gobble down entire packets of it, but I might as well leave those right in here too. That doesn't really matter. And I think then we've got to deal with all this wolf meat. Now the fat I've not been doing too much with because I'm not quite sure what to do with it. Um, I'm sure there's something that's going to come up down the road. I might be able to make those sausages now though. A wolf leg. We've got the wolf head. Uh, I should see what I can do with that. And we've got a hide and then a few more pieces, parts of animals in here. You know, that's, there's a lot of uh, good stuff in here. Uh, we'll put you right over here. Oh, I found a rifle yesterday. I did. I found a 22 rifle on the way back home. It was um, in a, a, a tree hunting stand. Uh, okay, so I can put you right in here. Yeah, look at this stuff, man. You guys, I, I still got plenty of things to do here before we can even move forward to do anything at all. Um, there's got to be a wolf head I can make right here, huh? What is this here? The wolf... The wolf head mask craft. Oh, wow. Huh. That's all it takes is the wolf head. Oh, but you know what? When you wear it, I wonder if I can eat and drink. I wonder if I can eat and drink. Let's see. Let's go to number five. Well, I can drink. It says it's a mask, but it's not a mask. It's a hood. There's a difference between a mask and a hood. We're thirsty too. Let's go ahead and drink some water. <laughs> I have not taken the time to figure out how I could turn my character so you guys could see this. Let me see if I can figure that out. I'll bring you, I'll bring you back. <laughs> I still haven't taken a second just to look that up. Well, there's Alt. There's a thing called Free Look. And you just hold down the Alt key. But I can't quite get her to uh, completely turn around. You guys, let me know. I was looking at the keys. I don't, I don't know which one is which. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, food. Do I need to cook this yet? I don't really need... Well, it's actually starting to wear down, isn't it? Um, hmm. Well, let's... Uh, God, it's starting to... It's, it'll be fine. We can go do a few things during the day here and then come back. That's a lot of meat right there, baby. That's a whole lot of meat, so I don't want to waste it. Uh, I'm, I'm not super concerned if I didn't get to use it all, but I'm thinking once I cook it, it should be fine. I should probably put this stuff in the refrigerator and run the Jenny. I noticed by putting food in the refrigerator, just to put it there to say that's my refrigerator, that's why I'm putting food, it, uh, it spoils, it seems, a bit faster in there. It does seem to. 
so I'm not putting stuff in the refrigerator. I'm going to take this nice screwdriver and leave it here. I'm going to grab some of these crappier ones that we have. There's not many uses left in them. I'm going to kind of kind of thin those out a little bit. Um, and yeah, we've got some nice ones here. There's a 3 out of 3, 19 out of 40. Those are pretty good. There's another 1 out of 3. Use some of these guys up, and then I don't have quite so many laying around. Get my good ones uh, over to here, you know. And then when we go off to do the, uh, whatchamacallit, we'll have uh, the bunker. We'll have some good ones with us, because we're going to need, so need some lock picks. And then I'm going to take a few, uh, what is this, that's a bobby pin. Craft a lock pick out of that. There's an old one. That's two out of four, two out of four. There we go. I'm going to take those. I've got a few in there. That should get me, an, well, is that going to be enough for me to really give it a good try? Uh, what else do I have? Okay, I've got my locks and my picks. Uh, I could use a pair of rubber gloves. I think I've got some in here, though. I do. I've got some rubber gloves right there. There we go. That's just in case I don't think those lockers actually electrocute you up in the police station. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's check the car again. Uh, it's still got a bunch of stuff in it that I need to clear out. But I could do that later. I could do that a little bit later. But here's the 22 rifle I picked up. It's 73.7%. Uh, I don't have a... Um, I don't think I do. What is this again? This is a... Hunter 85. I think I need a like a magazine for that. Maybe I do have one. Let's see. I know I've got a few. No, it's not over here. It's over here in our big big container. Hunter 85, right? Uh, what is this? Carbon Hunter magazine. This is it right here. I bet that's it. Um, and now what I'm curious about, this is 22 caliber ammo. 22 caliber. Can I combine those? They stack to 20 and that's it. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if there's a way to repair this. Do I have a workbench? Uh, I don't have one of those in here. Let's go ahead and here. If I take out a repair kit, I can repair that. All right. Very good. Let's see. 76% can I I can't do it. Oh, it used up that entire thing Ooh, Okay, you can make these toolboxes. So it's not to not to worry All right, that's fantastic now. Let's drag this over here. Can I do that? Uh Oh, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe that's not the right thing to have for this gun. I Thought it would be Oh, it's not the right one, really? Carbon Hunter Magazine. Hunter 85. So that's different, then. So, basically, maybe it doesn't have... Maybe it doesn't have a cartridge. Maybe it is literally one round at a time. Is that right? Do I put... Can I put these guys down here? No. It's, it definitely has a magazine for it. I just don't have the right magazine for it, which is really kind of a bummer. Um, I should see if I can find it. Let me know which one I need, you guys, and then I would be uh, one of the, You know what? Since that is the case, let's go ahead and put this ammunition in here, too. So I have this with me. Uh, so when we go down, we can, we can try to find... Maybe we could buy one from the trader uh, and get that. I would like to find stuff, but, you know, it'd be kind of fun to have that little twenty two to go, go hunting with. Go pop off some animals with that thing. Uh, wrong spot. Okay, so anyways, I'm still putting some stuff away. I'll bring you back when something else is happening or something else crosses my mind. I bumped into something yesterday driving home. There it is. Look at that wolf hat. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. So we got the goat hat and the wolf hat. Oh, they should run now. They should run in fear from us. I don't think that's actually a thing. I'm just saying that would be cool if they did. Be like, oh, that guy killed some a wolf. We'll hunt. Uh, we'll hunt some more wolf. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Maybe. We got to cook our wolf. A delicious wolf. We're wearing his head right now. It's just awesome. 
All right, let's see how many uh, folks we got roaming around here. I'm hoping I can park right out in front of the police station. Usually there's a couple of puppets right here, though. Downstairs in the police station, I hear them. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, that's garbage. That's garbage. Ugh. A C2 injury. <sighs> Dang it, man. Not a good start. Got the bandages in the car. We'll use them. I ticked everybody off. Is it safe to be doing this here? I don't know. <laughs> Let's check the car. We got some more bandages. We'll use them. This will give me a good experience, a good, good chance to use some of this stuff. Uh, it looks like I've got it sitting all down here. I've got some more cookbooks in here too. It looks like. Oh, come on now. Where's my where's where's the car? Thank you. There we go. Uh, let's grab that and that. Let's go in here, and we will heal ourselves up. All right, take a knee. All right, let's go to metabolism, and we've got a bleeding injury. Now I can take this uh, treat. You gotta fill this bar up. You see this light here? That's only gonna do that much of it. So it kind of sucks, but treat. It's a big injury. I don't know if I've ever had a C2 injury. I deserved it. I got beat on like a drum. And then I can use this one. Well, this one's 53%. Let's use that. Okay. C1, C2. This is all. Now, can I do anything to treat this? It doesn't look like I can. External pathogens. Let's go to inventory. If we take off our jacket. If we don't have anything dirty on us, it's... Well, everything's dirty. Maybe if I take the hat off, that'll help. Um, where's my injury at? My arms, huh? Okay, so we take that off. Dirtiness is at 100% on that. Let's take that off and let's take that off and see if uh, that doesn't help with the pathogens. I'm pretty sure it probably will. It should. The dirty clothes are off the wounds. We've got clean bandages on them. The contamination is going down. I'm seeing that right now. So it looks like we're going to be okay. Anyways, I'm going to hang out here. I'm going to lay down and just kind of uh, rest. And then we'll get back up and we'll, we'll continue into the police station. Horrible start there. Horrible. Oh, there's our wolf head. Beautiful. One down, one to go. And boop. All right, boy, it sure is a help to have those bandages, huh? Those bandages are super helpful. Chess is a bit chilly. I need to I need to get her clothes cleaned. Oh, there's a tire repair kit. Oh, perfect. All right, we're back up to 100%. Chess is feeling good, feeling good. Oh, look at there. There's a door right there. We could probably sell that door, huh? If we took it down with us, I bet we could sell it. Uh, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. I got a lot of that stuff. I don't I don't need all that stuff. All right, so we are going to go into the uh let's let's get our wits together here cuz that that was really a bad start. It was just a really bad start to coming in here. Let's check this garage here attached to it and then I want to go practice on those uh on the what you call it's up here. Those boxes, those those lockers. There's a bumper in here. Front bumper. <laughs> yeah, I could have a whole parts store sitting back at home, right? 
Anytime we need it, we could we could use it. I got four tires. We could take the pieces parts. I tried to get that one arrow off. I thought I had time between the two zombies that last time, you know? I thought for sure I had time to go ahead and, you know, deal with that both of them at the same time. And it just did not fire fast enough. Uh, let's pick this lock. Let's uh, give it a whirl. All right, so I got 10 seconds total. F to push the screwdriver, mouse to move the lock pick. Okay. Oh, I didn't quite make it. Oh, come on now. No. So I don't think I have to go back quite so far. Oh, boy. This is not going very well. There's one. Okay, finally. Oh, I didn't have to do anything with that one, really. <laughs> Thank you for giving me an easy one there. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, UMP 45. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Doesn't it? Glock 21, UMP 45 magazine. Oh, really? Oh, well, let's hope we find some ammunition for that sucker. Maybe I've got some. There's another gun to sell. And what is this one? M9 magazine. Oh, the Serpent 357. Oh, that sounds cool, too. Look at that thing. Holy cow, there's a cannon. Whew, that is a big gun. Oh, awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and put this uh, right over here. I'm pretty sure I've got ammunition for that. Let's go ahead and move things around a little bit so we got some space in our inventory. Put you up there. Put you up there. And you can go right there. And you can go over here. And there we go. And I feel better about that right now. Perfect. 38 ammo. Shotgun ammo. More shotgun ammo. Join. There we go. Perfect. Did I miss a locker? No, I got it, huh? Okay, I got all those. I gotta. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm kind of wanting to load that uh, that that hand cannon there. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's go into the next room. Hello. Front lobby. Got some more lockers over here. Anybody in the back? Oh. Gotcha. Buttercup. You know, I think just thinking about this, I should probably clear the building out, huh? Before I, before I, you know, just start opening lockers all over the place. That's the top floor. We know there's nothing up there of interest. Sometimes there's a guy up here down on this end. There he is right there. Oh, right to the noggin. Oh, <laughs> that could not be more to the brain if I've ever seen it in my life. That is right to the brain. I love that. That's good times right there. Oh, I did not make it through the door. 
<laughs> Watching a fool play. All right, here we go. Ooh. Didn't think I was going to make it. Oh, that was in there, man. Oh, I can't quite get this one to move just right. Oh, I still can't open it. I ran out of locks of things again. M1911 and an M1911 magazine. Well, I seem to be getting a... F I've got a lot of different kinds of ammunition at home. I don't know what it's all for. Why can't I just put this right down? Never mind. Um, I'm still missing one locker. I picked up this guy, though. This UMP-45 is pretty cool looking. My coffee's spoiling. I'm going to drink it before it goes bad. There we go. Mm. Make sure I get my coffee. I did drink one of the beers we had. Uh, I ate one of the MRE rations. They're below 50%, so there was a food repulsion involved with it, and I had to stop eating it at about 80% of it being gone because food repulsion was getting really bad. Now, you can see here I've got a bunch of stuff here that's not very good. Um, the meds are, are kind of spoiling down here. Uh, okay, so I was working on doing some cooking, right? Let's, let's, let's see what we can do here. Let's see. I actually want that cooking pot. You can see the cooking pot keeps sliding underneath here. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Uh, we'll take the cooking pot off of there, and we will move the pot onto this guy, and we are going to turn that on. It's on. Okay, I can see the blue flame on there. Now I'm going to do recipes, drinks, um, rice. Rice and peas with meat. I don't have any peas, so I don't even know why I'm looking at that. Stews. Stuffed peppers. I have no peppers. I can't do anything with that. Uh, pasta. Spaghetti. Wow, look at these recipes. They are pretty elaborate, aren't they? Can I just cook the rice? Oh my god, you got to have so much stuff with some of these things. Awesome. Curry, red, black pepper, poultry, chili, oiled, smashed cucumbers. Wow, there is a lot of things I don't have. Because I've got a bag of rice on me. Can I just cook the bag of rice? Uncle Pong rice? Grilled fish, I don't have fish. So I can do the grilled red meat. I need my salt and pepper back. That's going to heat me up, make me hot. I'm going to throw this carrot back in here. I need the salt and the pepper. And you can have the rice back here. I thought I grabbed some soy sauce too. I did grab some waters. I'm going to drop these guys back off in here because we don't need them. Got room for my cabbage back over here. I need to make sure I start eating this stuff. Like, the cabbage is down to 57%. I need to eat that stuff. All right, so let's do this and this and this. And then we're going to go grilled red meat. And we're going to take the red meat and put that in there. I've got to cook this stuff. Otherwise, it's going to spoil. Doesn't make sense to not cook it. And boom, off you go. 12 minutes and 47 seconds. This is better than what we were going to get because we have the, both the salt and the pepper. So I think this is going to give us pretty good, you know, it's not a great meal, but it's going to give us a lot more to it. Now, if I come up here, uh, oh, God, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Push the wrong button. Push the wrong button. Let's try that again. That was ruined. There's a way to set a timer on this. Oh, you know what? I think it's right here. 
set alarm for one minute. There we go. Inventory. What do we got here? Grilled red meat. Let's see what it does. Food repulsion, because it's not cooked all the way. But our food repulsion should be okay. Yeah, we're going to be all right. I'm going to go ahead and throw that out. <laughs> it's not any good. I wonder if I could just set it on here. Would that cook it? Probably not, huh? Look how much bigger it is from the ones that aren't cooked yet. That's interesting. Excellently cooked. Excellently cooked. Very cool. There's our one minute timer for the piece of meat that we actually clicked on. Gave us the timer for one of them. I still have a couple of kebabs in my inventory I haven't eaten yet. Excellently cooked. Very good. All right, let's do that again. Uh, well, I got a excellently cooked. Another one. Another great steak in the inventory. No, that's the one that's on the floor. <laughs> Sorry. Grab. Uh huh. There we go. Another good one. And we probably have one in our pockets. There we go. All right, let's back away from that fire because, of course, now we're overheating. Let's grab our knife, number four. Chop. What do I get for a leg? Uh, ooh, I did get the large animal bone. Oh, well now, chop it up. Maybe we can make that soup. Speaking of which, I don't think I turned that little oven off. I did not. Yeah, we've got the large animal bone now. We should be able to make that soup, maybe. We'll take a look. Let's make sure this says the, the right amount of water on here. Turn this on again. We're going to hit this. We're going to go here. Soups. Meat soup. I need to get two liters of water in there. 0.5. One. 1.5. Two liters. Okay, so is there a bigger water container that I could have? There's my bone. There's the meat. There's our carrot. So our parsnip, some salt, and some pepper. And then I was going to throw in the extra meat, right? Extra meat. There we go. And now I can cook that. All right. Very good. 31 minutes and 50 seconds. All right. So I do this, and then I can set my alarm for two minutes, and it should come and should, it should go ding at me when it's done. Now, I could do that one more time and make another soup. Although, you know what? I don't think I have another carrot or vegetable to do that with. We may have to run over to the farm. I've got the parsnip, but I do not have a carrot. And I don't think this chili pepper caught, constitutes a... It may constitute a vegetable. I don't know. Let's put our big bones in here. I can hear that soup cooking. Let's just drop the fat in here, too. It should come out as a pretty good meal for us. Oh, look at that. Carrot soup. Got some soup. Okay, it took a second, but I got it. Hopefully I cut out all the bumbling, but, uh, you know, sometimes that stays in. <laughs> but we got a soup going. There we go. There's our timer. Two minutes. Some delicious soup. 
awesome. Uh, I like this. This is great. The cooking is um, very detailed. Very detailed. Come on. I can't wait to see what this soup's going to taste like. But it's good. And we'll stop. Excellently cooked. Look at that. There's my bowl of soup in my hand. Oh, let's see. How many, how many uses do I get out of this thing? Two, huh? Just two uses out of that bowl of soup. I'm going to eat one. Let's see how that does us. My bladder is so full. Oh, God. Um, Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> this could be... This could be asking for some serious trouble right here. I don't want to stop this. I, I need to just... I just need to... Hopefully we get through this food here real quick. We get outside before I, uh, you know, pee in my clothes. We'll be okay. We're holding it. Oh, God. It's starting to really get uncomfortable, though. Oh, man. Look at that. That was some food. That was some good food. I'll be back. There we go. Ah, better. Uh, I think I'm going to run up and see if I can find another carrot so I can make another one of these soups with this meat before it uh, goes bad. Maybe what we do is we put a little gas in the Jenny and see if we can keep this refrigerator on too. I don't know. Um, I don't have much time left in my record, so I'm trying to think of what I could do quickly, and I think I'd go up there and do that. Uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, let's let's just call that an episode, right? We did some cooking. We did some uh, safe cracking, locker cracking. Uh, down here, I wanted to let you guys know real quick, too, that I did put our fishing gear down here. I do want to try the fishing. I need to figure out how it all works. And uh, then I'll bring you back and do that. But I've got our fishing poles, a little bit of line. We're probably going to go down and buy some of this stuff. We've got the hooks, but the line, we need line. And we've got the reel here, too. So that's, that's a good thing. Um... We did some cooking today as well. We got a nice soup made, which is something we haven't done before. And now I know wolves count as steak. <laughs> uh, no wolf will be safe. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.